My name is Daniel Gerson. I'm the creator of SAP PI for Everybody. I'm an SAP mentor. And in this video, I'll, I'll share a, a little challenge that I have at work today uh, that I need to, to find a good solution around. So, uh, the, the challenge is um, the, the, the group that I'm working with uh, does not have a lot of PI specialists. So, they are new to using PI and they're new to using Java and this this means that the department uh, head and the project manager is, is a bit concerned about how the solution can be maintained when he does not have the skill set for, for running uh, such uh, projects so obviously I, I know something about the PI but I will be gone at some point and then they will have to be able to support everything themselves. So the, the thing is it's, it's, it's a small team, uh, three developers that are all new to, to PI um, and it's challenging what and, and, and Java also, they are mostly ABAP developers so it would be much easier as, as all the enhancement was in ABAP. And that's why the department said, well, the head said, well, let, let's try to, to do as much in, in ABAP and make as little business logic in the PI as, uh, as possible. Uh, one of the, the reasons is that they got the impression that SAP is moving away from, from ABAP, um, or moving away from Java until ABAP. Um, and that, I guess, some of this is because the Oracle acquisition of Sun, and thereby the, the Java wasn't as uh, freely and uh, open as it was before, and that makes it a bit well. If I had based uh, technology on the competitors, then it wouldn't be as good. But you can see that SAP is also basing a database on 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 Oracle technology and moving away from, from that. So uh, that's one of the, the, the challenges about this. Uh, you also see some like the Vibrin Proof framework that now is, is up up and is something that I think most of the, the business applications will be, be built in. Uh, so it's something about ABAP is much better at handling business logic uh, than, than, uh, than Java. Um, so, the, the other thing is, well, obviously you see something about some of the business application moving to, to ABAP, but you also have that SAP still focusing on the Java side. Uh, most notably seems to be the, the, the new platform they're investing in, uh, the online cloud application that's all Java based. Uh, as far as I know, maybe there are some Java in it, but I really doubt it. I think it's mostly built using Java uh, and HANA or some other kind of database uh, below it. So that's a big Java focus for SAP. You have the, the PI uh, where it says, well, all future developments will be done on uh, Java and the, the ABAP will be supported for the next. 10 years or something like that until 2020. Uh, obviously you have the portal that has always been, been Java based uh, and you have the process orchestration which ties at least the, the true three components, the PI, the portal and the, the composite framework uh, together as, as a much simpler unit. So, so it's not like ABAP, uh, Java will really disappear from the SAP landscape at any point uh, in, in my objective. Um, for, for PI Java, it's, it sometimes is a bit uh, overwhelming, uh, but most of the time it's, it's quite simple. So, the I don't know, 90-95% of our mappings is done using the graphical mapping tool. And in there, it's sometimes a good idea to create a user-defined function that can perform 
some extra task uh, that you don't have the ability to do otherwise. So that's uh, some some simple functions like looping over an ar array and f f selecting or summarizing some values and if the values is above a certain threshold then, then show that. Um, the other thing could be something like yeah, string manipulation, uh, one to do just have the last five character of the string, uh, which is something that the built-in functionalities, as far as I remember, cannot do. But there's some some limitations in them, and you can get around them using some some simple Java coding. Uh, and when I mean simple, it's well, you must obviously know the the syntax of of Java, but it's not like you have to know a lot about uh, object models and inheriting and parenting and stuff like that. It's more like, well, we want to do this functional programming stuff to do this kind of thing. Then the, the, the next step and where the, the Java becomes much more complicated is, well, first off, there's like three steps. The, the, the easiest one, most often, is the, the Java-based mapping where you would enhance the mapping with some extra functionality. Um, then the next step is the adapter where you would, no, the module where maybe the same code but you have to know some DHE to be able to wrap this around in, in the correct way. And the most complex is the, the adapters which is a bit more difficult to, to make and you have to know what, uh, what it looks like and, and how it works. So these are the, the different steps in the, the PI mapping on the Java PI uh, that, that someone will must know before they can, can do a good job in PI. Though I would argue that if you can do a good job in just understanding the, the user time to find functions, you are pretty far in, in the developing and supporting an organization using PI. If you have some bigger area you want to focus on, uh, like the modules and the Java, then obviously it will require some more skills from you to be able to, to support that. Uh, so that was a bit about uh, this, this challenge and you may see this a lot of places about how we get PI to, to be a part of the, the local team. Uh, so we can support it locally without having external consultants as, as me uh, here. Uh, so so how can we, we make the... Do you have any ideas or what do you do for f to, to help integrate the Java development side into your organization? Or are you saying, well, we just do really simple mapping. If the mapping is going to be complex, everything will be moved into the Java, uh, to the ABAP stack and then we can do all the things there. So please, if you have some comments around this, uh, post uh, below this uh, video in the comments and I will look forward to, to all your good responses. Thank you and looking forward to meet you. Bye!